Hi everyone, welcome back to the Codeshop channel. In today's video, we'll explore the new loan management feature in Odoo 18. This tool helps businesses efficiently manage loans, track payments, and handle amortization schedules, all within Odoo. So let's dive right in. To get started, go to the accounting module. Under the accounting tab, you'll notice a new menu option called Loans. This is where you can seamlessly create and manage loans. Let's take a look at an existing loan called Loan Demo. Here you'll find essential loan details, including the total loan amount taken, the applicable interest of the loan, the remaining amount yet to be paid, the start date, and total duration of the loan. And we can also link a loan to specific assets within our system. When creating a new loan, let's name it Test Loan. Below we have the Amortization Schedules tab. Schedules can be uploaded or generated based on standard global compounding methods. Order then automatically manages monthly interest and principal adjustments, ensuring accurate financial reports with minimal effort. Okay, let's go back to the previous loan. Next we have our loan settings tab, where we configure the main accounts. On time liability account for the principal amount of the loan that is not due within the current year, short term liability account for the portion of the loan that is due within the next 12 months, interest expense account to record the cost of borrowing over time, and we can also specify a journal associated with this loan. The last option available is skip until. This allows us to skip the amortization schedule for a specific period, if needed. This feature is particularly useful when importing data from another system or Excel, as it enables us to exclude certain amortization lines that would otherwise be generated. Now we can confirm the loan. Once the loan has been validated, Odo creates the necessary journal entries, ensuring a holistic and forecasted view of upcoming due dates. The entire process is fully automated using a mechanism to reclassify long-term and short-term liabilities. For each amortization schedule line, Odo generates the following three entries. The first is the payment entry. This debits the principal amount to the long-term liability account, debits the interest amount to the expense account, and credits the payment amount to the short-term liability account, representing the bank withdrawal. Next, on the same day, we have a reclassification entry that debits the total principal due over the next one month to the long-term liability account and credits the same amount to the short-term liability account. The last one is reversed reclassification entry which is posted on the following day. It simply reverses the previous reclassification entry. This automated mechanism ensures that month after month, the short-term account remains accurate and up-to-date with the current short-term due amounts. All right, that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.